Okay, so this next piece, we're going to talk about how to manage your time. And there's four things we're going to focus on. The first one is having that weekly plan to look ahead. The second is how decision-making fatigue can hold you back from being able to follow through. We think we need motivation when actually what we need to be productive with our time or manage our time effectively, it's actually discipline. And then we're going to look at energy. So it's not just about managing your time, but it's also about managing your energy. So let's look at the first one with a weekly plan ahead. If you know for the week ahead, all of the things that you have to do, write those out. Then what you do is look at the schedule and your time blocks of when you can do that work. And you document and fill in those things into those time blocks so you get everything you need to do schedule it into your work blocks the day before you review the next day and what you need to do so that you don't need to think about it the next day you just execute it also means then that you don't do five thousand things tomorrow and then do nothing the day after you focus on being consistent with three or four things every day and that consistency over time will make a massive difference if then also you look back on the previous week when you're scheduling forward, you'll be able to catch anything that you might have missed and be able to then bring that forward so that you don't leave anything behind. You're consistent, you're productive, but you're also making sure that everything that needs to be done is done. And then one of the things that we forget about with that look back is it's not just to look back and see what work needs to be done, but it's also so that you can track your progress because that's going to help your confidence when you encounter problems or challenges in the future so use that look back to help you look forward with confidence and that you can track your progress the second thing is decision making fatigue so your willpower or your ability to to make decisions well will be highest in the morning when you haven't ran out of that muscle so this is why you must do those most important things first thing in the morning you don't need to rely on your ability to decide to do it or not, you just get it done. And this again is why over time and over the, the day, your willpower will be reduced. So that's why you don't leave any important decisions until it's too late. And the other thing about this is, if you then, this is why the likes of Elon Musk or Mark Zuckerberg will always wear the same outfit, Steve Jobs as well, Steve Jobs as well. He wears the same outfits every day so that they don't need, they've taken that decision away from their day. That's another decision that they would have to make and they make and prioritize bigger decisions than that in a day. So that's why they automate it so that they don't need to rely on their willpower or rely on the uh, willpower kind of muscle to kick in so that they're able to make these decisions. You don't either make it easy, grease the, the path to success by making these things easy, creating your day the, the previous day it can make a massive difference. Discipline, not motivation. So again, we think we need to be motivated to do tasks. You don't, you need to be disciplined. This is doing what needs to be done, whether you feel like it or not. Motivation is that feeling when you want to do something that comes after you've been consistent and you've measured your progress. And then you can build on that with motivation looking forward. But most of the time, what needs to happen is you need to do the work and you need to be disciplined, but doing the work. And it's not always going to be the work that you want to do. It's not always the Ferraris or the Lamborghinis on Instagram. It's not always those kind of bright side holidays all the time. Sometimes you need to knuckle down and do the work. And that's why if we rely on motivation rather than discipline, that will hold us back from ever seeing the work that we're doing at the moment as what is on the path towards what we want so follow through get it done rely on discipline not motivation and that's why those tasks set out the day before or the week before will make a massive difference the other thing is our energy our energy can fluctuate every day and also then week to week so there'll be times where your energy is high and times when it's low when it's low be kind to yourself and commit to still showing up at your best your best might be a three out of ten other days it might be a seven eight nine ten out of ten but as long as you commit to doing your best, well, then that's what's needed at the time. And that's why you should not feel uh, like you can beat yourself up about not giving your best. So the other thing is, if your energy is low, that's probably an indicator or a signal that you need to focus on recovery. So focus on recovery, commit to your best, even if it's three out of 10, and then you need to be better set up to focus on delivering your best the following day. And the following day, you can be consistent rather than worrying about intense bursts of energy but not having it in your tank any chance you have to recover and focus on that recovery when you've done the work and you've been disciplined and you've been consistent will make a massive difference over time so to round off this section of managing your time what will you do so there's a couple of tools in the resources document you'll be able to access and be able to fill in for yourself 
but really focus on that weekly plan ahead, paying attention to decision-making fatigue. So setting yourself up to win by doing the most important tasks first thing in the morning. So you don't need to rely on motivation versus discipline. You can rely on discipline and just getting the work done. And then also don't forget to focus on managing your energy, not just your time. So hopefully that was helpful. I wish you a great week ahead and see you in the next lesson.